Well, good afternoon. It's Pastor Jay here at Christ Church. It's my turn to do the midweek devotion. I'm glad you're joining with me today for this time of uh, devotion and reflection, a couple songs, and uh, just being together. If you're joining with us as another time, I hope you're enjoying uh, coming together with us as well. As you know, we're in a breakthrough prayer initiative here at Christ Church. We've been doing that along with our sister churches throughout the West Virginia Annual Conference uh, during the month of September. Uh, and so we've been thinking a lot about how uh, God's dunamis power, that's the word they often use, a word from which we derive our word dynamite, but uh, speaking about the power of God and the power of prayer as we align ourselves with God's will and allow that power to manifest in our lives. Uh, as we begin our time together, as often do, I like to always use, sing a couple of songs. Uh, and the one I've selected for today is one from uh, Wren Collective, uh, it's called Build Your Kingdom. A lot of this prayer initiative and in our work here is about how to join our lives with God's endeavor to build the kingdom of God. And so this song is called Build Your Kingdom. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again increase in us we pray unveil why we were made come set our hearts ablaze with hope like wildfire in our very souls holy spirit come invade us now we are the church we need your power in us We seek your kingdom first, we hunger and we thirst, refuse to waste our lives, cause you're our joy and prize. You see the haptive hearts release, the hurt, the sick, the poor at peace, we lay down our lives for heaven's cause. We are your church, we pray revive this earth. Build your kingdom here, let the darkness fear. Show your mighty hand, seal our hearts and land. Set your church on fire, win this nation back. Change the atmosphere, build your kingdom here, we pray. Unleash your kingdom's power. Reaching the near and far, no force of hell can stop your beauty changing hearts. You made us for much more than this. Awake the kingdom seed in us, fill us with the strength and love of Christ. We are your church, and we are the hope on earth. Build your kingdom here, let the darkness fear. Show your mighty hand, heal our streets and land. Set your church on fire, win this nation back. Change the atmosphere, build your kingdom here, we pray. Beautiful song, few missed chords on my part. I apologize for that. But this idea of God building his kingdom here among us and how we are the church. We are the ones through whom God works to build this kingdom. This initiative we're engaged in, this, this breakthrough prayer initiative at our church is a prayer initiative designed to ask God to break through among us to break through among his church and among his people, to show us God's hopes and dreams for us, and then helping us to hear and then faithfully follow. First scripture reference for us today, I'm, I'm reading a section from the Gospel of Luke. We read this passage in worship at the beginning of our prayer initiative back on uh, Labor Day weekend. But here, uh, he read these words from chapter 11 in the Gospel of Luke. And Jesus said to them, 
Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches find and for everyone who knocks the door will be open. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if a child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Words of God for people of God gathered wherever we may be. Let us pray. Holy God, as we share this day or whenever we're gathering for this time of devotion. I pray that the words of my mouth, our, our reflections and our meditations together would be acceptable in your sight for you ever and always are our rock, our redeemer, and that dunamis power that brings your kingdom. Amen. I don't know if many of you have been able to connect and engage with the, the Dynamite Prayer Devotion. There's a copy of the book uh, that we're doing here at the church. It's, it's a powerful devotion book, though, to, to read on a daily basis about uh, this breakthrough prayer. This power of prayer to be like dynamite in our lives because our prayer focus is about what Jesus spoke about here. You know, seek and you will find and, and the Father will grant us the Holy Spirit. And indeed, that same spirit, that, that power that, that raised Jesus from the dead, what is called in the Greek the dunamis power, is available to us as his followers. Sometimes it's, it's easy to forget that. In our intentional prayer focus this month, we're, we're focusing on this idea of having that prayer break through among us. And throughout the daily devotions, there are many that have touched my mind or it really made me think. There's one about waiting and about how, how difficult it is to, to pray and to wait for things to happen. I mean, we're in a culture that really doesn't like to wait for anything. Uh, we have instant messages. We are always doing things in a very instantaneous way. And part of this Dunamis prayer focus is that when we pray our prayer about you know, asking for the breakthrough of God's power in our lives or in our situations, um, that dynamic of waiting for it to happen uh, and allowing that to, to be a time of waiting. And, and whenever I think about waiting, I, I recognize it's not, a, um, it's not a real passive thing. The, the waiting we do in prayer is actually active, okay? Just as Jesus said in our lesson, you know, even if the, the man wouldn't get up to give us bread because he was our friend, if we keep persisting, he will. And so, so our prayer needs to be persistent, but it also needs to be uh, active and engaged. Uh, I think that uh, part of prayer is that, you know, we become participants in what God is doing. We've been reflecting a lot that. We talked about that today at our uh, staff meeting as we do these devotions. Um, you know, there's a, there's a couple of stances that we take in prayer, or maybe one way to think about it is prayer language. You know, there's the prayer where um, you know, I'm asking God to do something, and so I'm praying to God. Or I'm wanting God to show me something, and I'm waiting for God. But there's another voice that's kind of in between there that is an active role of the prayer and God together. And I really think that's what dynamite prayer and breakthrough prayer is about. It's about seeking to join God in what we just sang about, building the kingdom together. Because we're co-creators with God. That's part of the nature of who we are as Christ's followers. And so in our prayer life, what we're asking is, God, you know, you've got this kingdom plan. You've got this redemptive plan for the world. And I'm praying that I might become a part of that with you. 
Now, in doing that, I may have some ideas about where I want that to go. Again, we all probably have ideas in our minds about where we want to go, where we want to be in our lives. We want to be in control of our destinies, you know, so to speak. But in our prayer, we're saying, yes, I want to be a part of what you're doing, God. And even if that's different than what I thought it was going to be, there's that dynamic that in our prayer and in our pray for breakthrough of God's power in our lives, we may be led down a path we didn't anticipate. Uh, I always joke about it, but uh, if you talk to some of my high school teachers, the fact that I'm sitting here talking to you as a as a pastor of a church is a pretty amazing thing. Because at a point in my life, my prayer for God to show me the way led to a radical change in what I was doing uh, with my life, with my work life, and my family. And so, you know, there's those times when God comes and he, he empowers us to, to make major changes. But often it's kind of subtle. You know, I have an idea of where I want to go with something and all of a sudden I see this other option out there and I have to think about it for a minute. Is that is that me or is that God? And then listen and, and seek to follow. I know for me in trying to make that discernment process is if what I'm thinking or what I'm being nudged to do that's different from what I've normally done is about others or if it's about, you know, being more compassionate if it's about doing something that maybe takes me out of my comfort zone, but I can see where it leads to a better life for someone else, then maybe it's of God. And so part of that discernment process is trying to, trying to figure that out. The other thing I think we learned, talked about today in our lesson uh, was, was about how, you know, in Dunamis Prayer and this you know, Breakthrough Prayer Initiative, we forget that God has the power to do things. Uh, you know, there was a story about a church, you know, that was making the changes in COVID uh, that we all had to go through. They were kind of struggling with what they were going to do, and they prayed about it, and, you know, funding came about for them to do what they needed to do in a very powerful, miraculous way. And I, I think sometimes we forget about that. You know, we have an idea, we want to do something, and or we feel that something on our heart that God has placed upon us, and you know, we, we want to do it, but we can't see the way through. And breakthrough prayer says, well, stop and pray for God to break through. Because where God guides, God provides. That was the lesson for today. And that's a powerful statement. That wherever God guides, God also provides. And so in our breakthrough prayers, we're praying for God to break through, show us God's hopes and dreams for us, and help us to listen and to follow in that as we discern what God's calling us to do, as God guides us, God will also provide for us. In other words, God will provide for that to happen because it's aligning our will with God's will in a way that seeks to build the kingdom. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the kingdom and building the kingdom of God. And that's God's will for not just us, but for you know the entire creation. And so, so our prayer is is about doing that, about seeking to to build the kingdom in our lives, to allow that kingdom to manifest here in Charleston and wherever we are, and then setting ourselves aside uh, to be a part of it. And so, I really invite us today as we get closer to that time when I invited you to pray your prayer. At, you know, 1221, uh, that you'll be thinking about that, that aspect of how uh, when God guides, God provides. And that also that we are asked to, to be a part of building God's kingdom. That it's not something we just passively wait on, but in our prayer life, we become engaged in whatever we feel God is prompting us to do. In these last week or so of, you know, doing this prayer, I've already had someone come to me that's had you know, a call upon their lives in terms of something they feel called to do as a ministry. It's something we haven't done before. Actually, there's been a couple people come, but there's one particular uh, that's something we've not done, but something we want to branch out into. And uh, my counsel was just continue to pray about it, continue to listen, discern what's needed, and recognize that if it's uh, of God, God will provide the means for us to do that, that new ministry. Uh, and I'm praying that that's happening with a lot of you. 
that as you pray this prayer and you follow this dynamite prayer uh, devotional and you know, pray for that dunamis power of God to, to manifest in your life, that you're getting ideas. New, new ideas are coming to you, things that you're thinking about that may uh, lead to help build the kingdom uh, here in our church and here in our community. So I invite us all to kind of keep our antennas up. Uh, I am going to invite us to pray the prayer a little early today, and then I'll close with my song. Uh, and then that way you can spend your full five minutes uh, after you pray the prayer at 1221. So I invite you to pray the prayer in a prelude today with me here uh, at this time. God, reveal to us your hopes and dreams for our church and our lives. Help us to listen and faithfully follow wherever you lead us. Amen. Uh, my closing song, I used to always tell, I've played it a bunch of times here. Uh, I always kid you, it's, it's my, it was my grandmother's favorite. Uh, and it talks about prayer uh, and the fact that we have this friend in Jesus who we can always go to with our prayers. We'll go in peace and may we all join together here in just a moment uh, in our prayer time together at 1221, asking God to open us to that dunamis power that God has in store for us. Go in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.